Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com and for everyone watching for this video on my channel and help support the awesome bands I feature and today I'm here with Epsilon XI. How you doing today? Pretty good. It's great to have you and you want to start off and give us a little history about the project and tell us a little about it for anyone who doesn't know? Uh, I'd say it started maybe five years ago. I went under my original, my normal name, Damon Wall, and then I just changed the name and came up with the name Epsilon XI which is basically Epsilon is a star with which is in my father and myself's constellations and XI is to represent 11 which is November which is for my sister's uh, birth month. And how did you get into electronic music to begin with? Um, I would say bands like VNV Nation, Assemblage 23 and I was like you know what they're doing it by themselves I want to try to give it a shot and that's what I basically did and it's it's just history from there really it's just they can do it I'm gonna try to do it awesome it's so cool to find out that you live in we live in the same town right down the road I mean when I saw that I was like that's crazy <laughs> yeah that's insane <laughs> yeah because not this many artists of this style of music live in this area so you know that yeah I know no it, it's it's a little hard but Anything that can get it out there, get the word out there, is always good. Now tell us about uh, your latest album, a little about that. Um, it's a self-titled album, and it's a nine-track album, mainly electronic, dark wave, things like that, with uh, two songs of the collaboration um, with Bow Ever Down. And, I mean, the main song I would say would be Asia which is my sister's name and it's a song or a poem that she wrote that I made into a song I took all her words and I like I said turned it right into a song and the, it's like I said it's just trying to get it out there yeah yeah it's awesome you worked with Bower Down because she's amazing and do you have any other collaborations coming up uh, not yet. If anybody is willing to do so, I am all ears and willing to do so. I have no problem doing it. I do everything myself. Um, I use just a laptop and a MIDI controller. Wow, and how did you learn how to do everything all by yourself? Um, I've been taking music lessons for the last, like, five years or so. My teacher helps me here and there with mixing, mastering. We do it all together. And so we try to make it sound as to the best of our ability. And I, like I said, MIDI controller, laptop, and the only keyboard I have is a Roland JDXI. And that's where all the music comes from. And now that the album's out, what do you have planned uh, in the future coming up? Um, just putting more music out there. Um, mainly focusing on, I guess, more of the dark wave, synth wave, synth pop type of music. Um, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to shoot for because that's what I've been doing for the last three albums. So, yeah. Awesome. Now, how do people look you up online, social media, get your music? How do they do that? Uh, I'm on Spotify under Epsilon XI, uh, Bandcamp, same, Epsilon XI, uh, Twitter, Epsilon XI, um, Instagram is under my actual name, Damon R. Wall. Um, that's basically how you can find me. And any plans to play live? Um, I'm always open to doing so. It's just finding the right venues and finding the right people that are willing to offer they want to they want to do it yeah it's it's difficult but you just keep reaching out and hopefully you can make that happen yeah hopefully and then maybe it'll get the word out a little more get the name out anything to help the name is is fine by me now i know you're doing electronic music but you also like industrial music is wondering would you go in a heavier direction every ever with your music um i have actually done that um, on my album Borderlands, my second album, I have 
the song that's called Borderlands, and I use, um, I actually use a full metal jacket of uh, Arlie Emery's uh, <clears throat> cadences. It's a little heavier than what I was doing before. So that's there. Um, on my first album, Utopia, I have Defiance, which is a little more on the heavier side. Um, that's, a, that's it so far on the heavy side of things when it comes to the music. But other than that, it's basically synth pop, alternative dark wave, things of that nature. I don't try to do too much heavy, so if I do need to do vocals, I can throw it in and you can actually hear what I'm singing. <laughs> awesome. Where would you like to see the future of the project in a few years from now? Like I said, just more people finding out about the name, maybe touring. It all depends on situations and take it from there and hopefully get the word out, get the name out get the music out there and get more fans well hopefully this interview helps you out and for everyone watching make sure you check out his music and help support him and help get the word out and it was great having you and talking with you and everybody look him up <laughs>